Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Um, we are gonna be playing Sherlock Holmes Chapter One, and this is going to be Mission Three. You can say this is Part One, but I'm pretty sure we'll complete like full missions. Uh, we'll, I'll try not to do this in parts, cause it's better that way. Uh, so yes, this is Mission Three. Basically, we. Uh, be we are going to be um, completing a mother's love and there's also one more case a gilded cage uh, you, you can uh, basically I'm using mission as a substitute word for cases cuz this these are kind of I don't know what to call, I'll just call them cases so we are solving a mother's love case and we are halfway through it and uh, it's the thing is about this game is you can parallelly do multiple there can be multiple cases active parallelly simultaneously I mean so at the same time you can be doing two to three cases you know and the map is also open world open world kind of map so you have uh, you have uh, freedom to move around and uh, do whichever case you like first in any order you like so this is better that way but also it's uh, difficult to name like name the videos or live streams so i have just named it as mission 3 but we have uh, this main main like main storyline kind of case on um a mother's love we are halfway through it and we have explored our house I'll show you that quickly uh, I've already uploaded videos of this on YouTube so yeah Watson is our imaginary friend in the head and Sherlock knows it I don't know why they showed this that way this way and uh, sorry for my English I'm not my native language is not English. Hey, this is the luggage we So we solved some stuff, and that opened Sherlock's. Uh, what do you? Sherlock's childhood, childhood room, and uh, we are going to go meet some guy who was his neighbor since childhood. And that guy might know. So there's a mystery around his mother's death. So this neighbor, neighborhood friend or childhood uh, friend or childhood neighbor would uh, know what exactly might have happened with Sherlock's mother and his family in general. And on the way, we you find uh, this. Uh, this is the case of a gilded cage. I have not gone inside yet But uh, I think we might have to do this and The main main case like a mother's love case will continue to Be active on the side I think So FPS wise I'm getting 30 FPS which is uh, quite surprising cuz yeah this game is uh, I feel like I'm playing you know I've uh, this environment and everything the whole game is very similar to Assassin's Creed if you have played Assassin's Creed before so yeah, I'm quite surprised that such a heavy heavy graphics kind of game this is the Sherlock Holmes series is not known to be so much gra um, heavy on the graphic side, but anyways, it's as if a storm went through here. A gilded cage. So we got spectators and stuff. So let's go inspect this. So you you can say I think that this is in this uh, live stream we are go going to be playing a gilded Destruction cage. Destruction and trampled ground. Destruction and trampled. Destruction and trampled ground. ground. Okay, let me put on my headphone.
Destruction and trampled ground. Oh my god. Look at his neck. I think they should call the police first. Anyway, I was investigating something. I don't like being told what to do by the game, so I'll do it my way always. It's seen a lot of use. The blade is worn from grinding. A sailor's knife useful for cutting wet and thick ropes. I see a cloth there. A coal gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. Enough to pump up an airship. I'm pretty sure there's some small clue which we are not finding. Fresh signs of impact. A rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. All right. I'll also rename the stream. Three. That's not properly describing this live stream. Done. And so interesting thing is there's voting in this game, so you can actually vote. Okay, that's done. Now let's go take a look at the old man. He was certainly under pressure. I feel like this is the work of an ele elephant or something, but there's no elephants in Europe, right? Oof. you were not. Damn, dude. His neck. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. Look at his hands, twisted on the, what? Okay, I guess. Yeah, and there's also day night uh, timing in the game. A belt from the dressing gown, curious. So the street lamp just went on. The kneecap reduced to splinters. Right, and what was this? A belt from the dressing gown, curious. Dressing gown, right. This looks like an act of an elephant. That's a lot of broken bones. What are we missing? Bro, you can see the big footprints. I'm pretty sure this is the job of an elephant. There's one more clue missing in this. What?
something anything Come on, man, I don't like this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna Google. Because this wastes a lot of my time. See. I'm missing Pinky, middle-aged. It's none other than Theodore Gill. Oh boy, Sherlock. Another death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. Oh, okay, so this is the friend they were talking about. He had a missing Pinky, I think, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go into the dialogues... I visited the house of an old family friend and discovered the evidence of recent mayhem. Body of man was found. Blah blah blah. family friend eccentric man named Theodore Gilden wow so he has died how sad I also forgot one more clue oh, who's it? as if they were struck by a battering ram I wonder how we managed not to hear any of this that's true how did it they not hear of this see some toys here so there must be a small child an amount of attention that most can only dream of or was this was he having an elephant as a pet did he have a pet elephant yes he did all of these signs point to only one thing there's the blood marks Damn, bro. There's an elephant on the run. A strong pull broke this leash.
poke the elephant with this? Really, people are hopeless. See, I told you this must be a doing of an elephant. pool of blood and saliva so be as a result of impact Sherlock take a picture of the footprint it's valuable evidence okay this photograph can help us find the old article about the elephants the front page was fascinating it was hard to believe as a child true we may need it in our investigation so we can re uh, repaint whatever happened here. I'm just doing this for my own purpose, taking pictures. I'm pretty sure there must be something more. A royal suite for a favorite pet. Plenty of food to satisfy even the most fastidious. This is quite comfy. Oh, shut up. So before we do this, let us do this orally. I think elephant was obviously tied here and I think this guy was doing something on the this machine, steam machine or something or probably he was just in the way. Somebody cut this rope off which led to something which may have led to the panic of elephant and someone may have also poked the elephant the elephant got enraged and basically went on a rampage and rest is history so let's do this Wait, where is this? Okay, this is the opening. First, let me go to this side. Damn. Huh. That doesn't look like it. I don't know. Yeah, I think this may have happened. No. Oh, I see, I see. So the elephant might have actually saved him? Or no, but the bones are broken too badly. Because elephants are very intelligent creatures. I think this might have happened.
Cordona is home to an elephant. This creature is large enough to leave footprints 18 inches wide. Besides a small puddle of blood lay a bull hook through which the instrument was unstained. With an immense pull, the animal broke the steel chain that restrained it. Someone fell there recently, hitting the wall and dropping their knife. It was not a soft landing. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think first I need to do this. Person's knife was left near the shed at certain crime scene by an unknown person. This type of knife is used to cut ropes. Took a heavy beating, sustaining multiple injuries that ultimately proved fatal. Goliath. How do you know its name is Goliath? In order to break free. I need more clues. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which of that would have happened, but I think this one would be simpler. We have to look at the footprints. It's that e that easy. No, I don't think a guy pulled him there. So there's also marks of someone pulling him. I think the elephant pulling him suits better. Because it, it, uh, it's matching the marks on the ground. So I'm gonna keep it with this. What happened here? I think someone might have attacked him. Ah.
yeah this one this one i think shoot same cuz it says someone fell someone um hit the wall and fell down so maybe this may work you're not even trying sherry concentrate You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. What? Did this happen? In a fit of rage, the elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce power. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it, but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. The elephant can't have gone too far. I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it. Then what? Push it all the way back to the manor? Yeah, you can see the broken vase. Key evidence collected. Awesome. So we need to... Check out the newspaper from 10 years ago. Animal suspect. Escape but could not have gone too far without attracting attention. Person was hit by the gate. Okay. During the elephant's escape, perhaps they saw what happened. Ah. Can we go check his house now? No, we cannot. It's actually locked, I think. Can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. <laughs> Cross the Greek Bridge, in the direction of forest where Theodore used to walk. May I ask you something? Ex excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Nice to see you. Excuse me, just one question. I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? It went to the forest area. So where's the forest area? direction of forest this the 
elephant barged into this cart of olive oil. What if we're lucky and he slipped and fell somewhere along the way? Hello there. Excuse me, just one question. You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. That is strange. this hmm. I don't think the elephant went there elephant ran okay. past hear me out if an elephant falls in the forest and there's no one around to... John, no. Oh, you're such a killjoy. <laughs> Should it go this way? I don't think so. He, we came back to the same place. Where is this on the map? Let's look for more trail marks of the elephant. Oh wow, there's a lake and stuff. Beautiful. Elephant went deeper. I'm just checking, just in case, if it, didn't, if it didn't go this way. Hmm. What is this? An old castle? Wanna go for a swim? to go inside or yeah right what Yeah, so I don't think we were supposed to go there. Huh? Ah. Chan. What the heck is 
is this? kind of sacrifice ground I think this is going to be a location for another case So it went deep inside the water. What do we do now? Ah. Strange. It was hung with care. Okay, so the governor of Cordona, Sir William Sinclair, wrote to uh, Theodore here. I mean, he had warned him. The game has escaped us for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. Right, let's go inside his room. I think we got the key to his house. Oh, so there's the balloon. Hmm. Somebody seemed to be giving... statues and I can always recognize the spirit of a true artist so there's a prominent theme of elephant everywhere this young lady has a childish interest in her age ah so it must be this lady who who, uh, who owns all those toys. Wow. You, who are you? My name is Sherlock Holmes. 
Theodor Gilden was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, miss. Imogen Gilden. Please, I beg of you. Find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. Focus. Be clear and concise. What happened? Just the facts. I was here, packing my bags. My father was with the elephant. Then I heard the noise. Goliath made such a horrifying scream. Through my window, I saw how it lifted my father by his neck. So I ran downstairs. The elephant was dragging my father's lifeless body. I threw stones at the monster, so it dropped him. Then Goliath ran screaming, and I came back here and hid. It is a terrifying experience, Miss Gilden. I'm sorry you had to go through it. Thank you. Goliath must be caught, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gilden. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? <coughs> I wasn't privy to much of my father's life. And it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster. I'm pretty sure that the elephant, because elephants are so known to be intelligent creatures and they recognize their friends and whatnot, even if they are human beings. So elephant wouldn't do this on their own unless it was like very much harassed by the owner or someone provoked it, obviously. Miss Gilden, I was on this island 10 years ago and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside, but I do not recall seeing you. I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there. You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Very well. Right. So, she heard Goliath screaming from her, she could see the animal from her. I can feel the sadness of elephant seeing his Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? No one wishes to work in this house, even for double pay. I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. Oh, stop calling him that. Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl. Mm. And my room stinks of the animal, as if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not <laughs> envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. I can understand. 
a commendable effort to barricade the windows. What are Who's you a cute at? bird? What's that? False idols. Bazook Kailochi, the adventures of Nabi and Laura. False idols? Oh, sounds utterly dreary. This lady. She packed as much as she could carry. Oh, the same dull poses on all romantic photographs. Sis. So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. What? You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? Speaking aloud helps me think. <laughs> Man, Sherlock seems a bit crazy. Cray cray. I found this. Who's this young lad named?